In this lesson, I am going to show you how to resolve Maven dependency conflicts using VS Code. Here you can see I have a very simple Maven project and the pom.xml file is open and I have a single dependency which is JUnit Jupyter. In VS Code, if you open a Maven project and if you open this Maven section, you would have all these different sections related to lifestyle, plugins, dependencies. If you expand the dependency, there you would have the granular details. Let me drag this little bit to the right side. So here for this particular dependency, which is org.jeonit.jupyter version 5.11.3, it is telling me what are the dependencies inside them. I have this open test 4 j 1.3.0. If I expand the other one, commons 1.11.3, and then I have this API guardian hyphen API 1.1.2. So under dependencies, we have the detailed view provided by VS Code. What I want to do now, I want to create a sample conflict here. Apart from this JUnit Jupyter API version 5.11.3, let me add another dependency. So this is the new dependency that should ideally bring a conflicting version. I'm adding this JUnit Vintage Engine version 5.8.3. Let me save this Ctrl S. Now it's reloading the project. Once it reloads the project, it would automatically indicate there is a conflict. Here it has reloaded and it is telling us few information. In your case, if it does not get reloaded automatically, what you can do, you can click on this particular icon, reload all Maven projects. Now in VS Code, what I like here, they have provided same feature in two different ways. First of all, if there is any conflict, you can see this particular yellow bulb. And if you hover on top of it, it is telling you there is dependency conflict in JUnit Vintage Engine related to OpenTest 4J 1.2.0, conflict with 1.3.0, that is Maven dependency conflict. And there is another conflict. So this is the problem. And if you want a quick fix, if you click on this, it would tell you resolve conflict for this and resolve conflict for this one. Both options are provided. We can click on this or press enter. Then the fix would be done. I don't want to make the fix right away. So this is one way to understand what is the conflict. Another way and as per me, a better way is here. You can see there is a marker C and it is telling conflict. If I click on this, it is expanding and these are all marked in a different color, yellowish color. Let me expand this. You can easily see the conflicts are marked in yellow and there is a triangular icon associated. So it is specifically highlighting where I have the conflict. And if I hover on top of it, it's giving me a tooltip to resolve the conflict. So at top level, it is telling me what is creating the problem. Then individually inside this dependency, what are the granular level conflicts it is showing me and also it is providing me an option to resolve the conflict. Let me click on this here by conflict resolution. We have to select a specific version and in the effective form, it is using version 1.3.0. We have version 1.2.0 also, whichever version we want, it would keep one version and reject the other one. So for test purpose, let me select this. Automatically what it does, it creates a dependency management section and there it is mentioning this particular dependency. So this should be kept. So we handled the open test one. Let me save it. It's reloading the Maven project. Now we have one conflict left here. Also, if you go, you can see it is showing only one conflict. Now this time I want to use this pom.xml view. Let me click on quick fix. It's showing resolve conflict for this JUnit platform commons. Same way if I click it would provide me the option which one to choose. I can select this one or this one just for test purpose. Let me click on this. Now another dependency is mentioned under dependency management. If I save it now, the Maven project will get reloaded and the conflict related icons are gone. It will still show you that there are duplicates and this duplicates we have handled manually inside dependency management, but VS code has helped in the process. Now, one important thing, although theoretically we have excluded certain dependencies and kept the specific version, unless we test, we are never sure whether the dependency resolution is correct or not. But VS Code provides a very handy way first to inform you that yes, you have the conflict. Once you have the conflict, 
immediately it shows you here in the editor itself when you open pom.xml and also under the maven section under dependencies second thing in your pom.xml directly it will give you the problem details and the possible fixes similarly under dependencies also it would give you those gear like icons it would give you the gear like icons in the probable spaces where you need to provide a fix and you can resolve the conflict so this is how VS Code helps us to resolve Maven dependency conflicts in Java projects.